Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Heads up, we had a class 5.1x solar flare that is earth directed that lasted over 30 minutes. Yeah, it's going to impact the earth and we're currently going through a, another um, effect from a, a different solar flare. I'm going to get into that in a minute. But here you can see the particles. Um, as yeah, look at that. Let me slow this down a little bit. Okay, you can see one flare going off on the western limb, and then it comes off. It's earth directed, and you'll see all the particles. Yeah, all the protons. Yeah, this flare lasted over thirty minutes. It didn't slow down very much, did it? Yeah, let's run it through one more time. Yeah, it's going to cause maybe uh, uh, a G3 magnetic storm. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. A shout out to those of you that recently bought me cups of coffee and sent in generous PayPal donations. Thank you very much. You're God's angels, especially with all the censoring that's going on with YouTube. But more about the sun. It erupted with a 5.1 class solar flare today. The most powerful of this year, the strongest since the X9 event in October of last year. Uh, this flare uh, originated from a highly active sunspot area, 4274, which has produced a string of X class events this week, highlighting the peak of the intensity of solar cycle 25. The eruption released massive amounts of energy, equivalent to billions of hydrogen bombs, and triggered immediate effects on Earth ionosphere while launching material towards our planet. Yeah, they cause earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and affect people's health dramatically. It occurred at 5.04 Eastern Standard Time, or 10.04 Universal Time, or 4.04 a.m. Central Daylight Time. That's probably why I woke up. AR4274 is a Beta Gamma Delta configuration, Earth-facing and highly unstable. It was a long-duration event, lasting over 30 minutes. Full halo coronal mass ejections, CMEs, confirmed Earth-directed, and radio bursts of 860 solar flux units. Other recent flares from this sunspot area was an X1.8 that was on November 4th, an X1.7 on November 9th, and X1.2. That was the one I seen early this morning, like late last night, and that I talked about in my last video. Yeah, the X1.2, all with the CMEs inbound towards Earth. This flare surpasses the X. 2.7 event from May of this year, marking a significant escalation in solar activity as the sun nears the end of its maximum phase. Yeah, it seems to be going out like a lion, don't it? An R3 and R4 strong to severe radio blackout affected the sunlit side of the Earth, primarily Europe, Africa, and parts of Asia. High frequency communications, aviation, and amateur radio were disrupted for 10 to 60 minutes with significant fading below 30 megahertz. No major aviation reroutes have been reported yet, but polar routes saw um, degradation, yeah, po uh, poor radio uh, communication. Um, an S1 minor solar radiation storm right now is in progress. With elevated proton levels, um, posing minor risks to satellites and high altitude flights. Astronauts on the ISS would have to had to shelter, um, so they're not exposed to the radiation. And I wonder about the three Japanese, um, astronauts that are stuck on their damaged, um, space capsule. I'm not, I'm going to have to do a report about that. But anyways. Um, flares alone don't typically affect, affect the solar grids, but common effects, um, 
would might make the uh, power sources fluctuate and alarms go off. Go off. Currently, we have multiple CMEs converging on the Earth, creating what they call a cannibal CME scenario, where fast-moving solar flares overtake the slower ones, and amplifying the impact. The two previous CMEs, the X.17, and that was on the 9th, and then the other one, uh, which was yesterday, an X1.2 flare, are expected to impact the Earth uh, late tonight um, and ongoing into tomorrow. You do have time to prepare for today's X5.1 solar flare. That's supposed to impact us around November 13th and poten uh, potentially 14th. Um, it'll probably be merging with the effects of the other CMEs. NOAA's SWPC has issued a G3 strong watch uh, for today through the 13th with a 60 to 70 percent chance of escalating to a G4 severe. And this could lead to widespread auroras visible in the northern United States. Uh, between those dates, you might be able to see auroras in Illinois, Wisconsin, New York, Canada, and Europe potentially as far as Alabama or Florida for ideal conditions. Isn't that something? Um, there, there are probably going to be more disruptions to satellites. GPS accuracy and power grids are going to uh, yeah, be affected. You might see surges, fluctuation in your power. And peak viewing for northern lights, the Aurora Borealis, is now the 11th through November 12th under clear skies and make sure the skies are dark you don't have you know light pollution um, now for the health effects sensitive individuals might experience fatigue headaches from radio uh, radiation geomagnetic fluctuations and uh, yeah make sure you stay hydrated so if you hear ringing in your ears yeah that's going to be an effect of these solar flares they also cause people to have high anxiety more cases of road rage more calls to uh, the police about different events um, high blood pressure strokes heart attacks things like this so i'm gonna have to check to see what my weather is going to be like it's supposed to be warmer it's actually going to get up to 50 which is <laughs> a big difference from the low 20s and um, 11 degrees at night so maybe i'll take a peek outside and see if i can see anything if you see any of the um, aurora borealises or northern lights whichever you want to call them um, yeah take some pictures um, thank you very much for watching i did not realize until now that it was a x5.1 solar flare wow so what are your thoughts yeah, is more large ones coming? Yeah, they do say there is a chance for more M-class solar flares. And we'll just have to wait and see until it goes around the uh, western side of the sun disk. It's opposite. A lot of people don't realize that on the right side, they consider that the west of the sun. And then on the left, that is considered the east. And it's slowly rotating, um, going to be out of view in another day or two. But in the meantime, yeah, it could send more uh, nasty stuff at us. So what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, we'll keep you up to date. So make sure you're still subscribed. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.